This video covers sales report section in Wireless Standard. And to access any reports, we'll click Reports button on the top menu. And uh, let's have a look at the, some of the sales reports in Wireless Standard. We'll click uh, Select Sales Subject. And uh, for instance, uh, we'll use Sales Transaction Details Report if we want to see transactions for a specified period of time uh, in specific location. Uh, when we run the report, we're able to filter out and use the uh, reports filter available. So let's run this report to see what filters we have. I will click Submit button and we'll see my transactions for the specified period of time. Uh, I will see sale receipts. I will see products sold. Uh, if I move to the reports options, I can filter any products that I want to see. For example, I'm just looking for one specific product, just one case. And if I submit and click Submit, the system is going to give me information only on that product, so it's going to be case here. Uh, what else I can do? I can filter by employee. So I'm going to see this user, and I will see transactions just for that user. If I'm going to pick a different one, it's going to be a different information. Uh, I can group by store so that the report is grouped by, by location. So now it says Store Lake View. And uh, I can apply any additional grouping by customer, salesperson, product, or referral. There are additional report filters in the next tab uh, where I can see transactions that are voided uh, and uh, apply any, any filters that you find here. So for instance, if I want to see my returns only, I will select quantity as um, is less than and I will say zero here and I will click apply report is filtered and uh, right now there are no transactions that were returns in the system all right this was sale transaction detail uh, report as we move to reports again we can go to sales and uh, well sales log viewer is a, rep is, a, is, a is a quick tool to see transactions for the specified period of time what happened to those transactions and uh, we're able to select by transaction number if needed on the top menu we can see that we are we're able to void sale receipts if we have a permission we're able to uh, print the receipt or export the list of transactions to Excel to print the receipt all is needed is click print preview button select the the, the, the printer one to print on uh, first if we select the a regular printer uh, letter size paper A4 we're able to to see the preview first and uh, uh, by clicking on print button we're able to select uh, the printer one to print on and print this receipt okay let's continue let's go to reports sales and uh, ESN exchange report is going to give us the ESN exchange transactions in wireless standard sales transaction detail online report is very similar to the sales transaction details report uh, it just looks a little bit different it's a different platform it's an online platform this report can also be accessed without having wireless standard installed on your computer you can go to you can log into our online reporting tool through our web page so on the sales transaction detail online in the same fashion I can I am able to select the date range store and products filter uh, the only difference is that I do not really have uh, any additional filters like uh, serial filters or quantity filters on this report I do have grouping though uh, to export this report I can use the export button on the top Let's continue. Let's go to sales uh, report. Sales uh, trade in transactions report will show us trade in transactions as well as fruit transactions report will show us fruit transactions. Sales uh, sales stats is going to give us information on uh, current cell phone sales uh, with the activations. Uh, coupon and discount details is going to give us any coupon and discount uh, sales where uh, coupons or discounts took effect. Uh, 
and uh, bill pay history report is going to give us the information on QPay transactions in wireless standard and we are integrated uh, with QPay so if you are using QPay integration you would use bill pay history report to check your uh, QPay transactions for the day or for a specified period of time also uh, it's a good uh, let, let's cover the POS section of the reports and uh, what we find here is cash register transaction history report that was that will give us the overview of the transactions for the specific register on the specific location for a specific period of time uh, but the most important uh, report in regards to the POS probably would be reports POS Z report uh, Z report is gonna give you daily um, it's gonna give you batch information on each separate register so uh, let's pick today's date and uh, we will pick to, uh, the store we logged into which is Lakeview and I will click submit button to see the information on my current batch in that location so what the Z report gives us is uh, it tells us the the state of the of the batch. So our cash register uh, was opened on twelfth uh, of April by this user, and uh, I'm able to see the system account, which is the amount of cash and uh, credit, debit, or check payment that that we, that we need to have in the register. Well, in the register it's going to be just cash. Uh, it will show us the starting amount any deposits uh, system will give us the breakdown the quick breakdown of uh, everything that was sold during this batch so we can see that uh, accessories department we sold several Bluetooth and cases products uh, then we sold the uh, Verizon cell phones uh, three items and uh, there were some system products sold as well uh, to see the breakdown of uh, which products were sold in, in a specific category we can click on the category in blue for example Verizon and system is gonna give us which products were sold in that category and the growing total for it uh, Z report will also show you variance if the register was closed right now register is not closed and uh, by saying variance I mean um, difference between system count and uh, the manual count that employee counted money in the register. All right, let's close Z report. Let's go to reports POS again. For example, cash register reconciliation report will give you uh, information as well on the registers and uh, uh, on the payment on specific payment types, so you can reconcile. It will give you variances over cash registers. And operation amounts. Then we'll go to reports POS. Uh, debit credit card transaction history is a specific report dedicated to credit or debit cards taken, where we can filter out uh, the transactions uh, by card, by type of card, or the cash register processor, and we can apply additional grouping. Uh, X report is the uh, a more of a summary report compared to Z report. Pretty much the same data though, and the Z report old in comparison to Z report shows us information uh, based on the date range, but not batch. Cash register transactions new is another way to have a look at the cash register transactions filtered by users or specific payment types so the parameters menu is a little bit different but still it gives us uh, pretty much the same information just a little bit different in a different way uh, as the any sales reports and uh, as we go to cash register status report the last report on the POS section we will see uh, the status of the register and the amounts in the drawer so the only register that is open right now company-wide is my Lakeview register number one and this is the amount in the drawer 